Hey guys, what's up? Tamara here. Today I'm going to do a review of The Whip by Karen Kandazian. This is a historical fiction title. It is an adult title and it is based off of a real life person. All of the events in the book have been fictionalized, so this is not a biography or a memoir or anything like that. It is fiction, but this person, Charlie, uh, actually her name is Charlotte Charlie Parkhurst did exist. This story actually takes place between 1812 and 1879, which is the birth and death of Charlotte Parkhurst. And Charlotte is a very interesting character. The fictionalized version of Charlotte Charlie Parkhurst was really interesting. You know, as the description tells us, she is a woman who ends up living most of her life as a man. And it is unclear to us why she chooses to live her life this way for maybe 30% of the book. The whole time I have one thing in my head but it's really another thing <laughs> as you know how it's explained how she ends up pretty much living like a man for her whole life and I understand it. I mean in this time you know there was slavery, there was a lot of oppression of women and you know it just wasn't a good time to be anything other than a white man to be quite frank. So of course she was orphaned as a baby and she grew up in an orphanage and as a baby um, this young boy like kind of takes her in and takes care of her and they grow up together and this guy this boy turned man is not really the best person and a lot of things happen um, between the time that they are you know toddlers and young you know under the age of 10 to the time she is an adult and she leaves that place and you know this story is really full of lows and lowers there's not a lot of highs going on it's like sad and sadder um, the story is really about empowerment of women, I guess in Charlie's case, empowerment of Charlie. Charlie, as an adult, fell for a man of color and of course that was a no-no in 1820 or whatever time that was when she had the relationship with that man. And of course that man of color happens to be a runaway slave and you know that is all bad in this time. Nothing good can come of it. And you guys, this is not a spoiler, it's really in the synopsis. We know something horrible happens to the, ma the man and her family and I'm not gonna you know but obviously we know what that means and she is on a I guess a mission of vengeance she wants to kill the person who took her family from her so she makes the track from the east side of the country to the west in California and she is there and she makes it and somehow she figures out that if she's a man she can become a coach driver and as a coach driver she can go where she needs to go to, to hunt down this man. But in the midst of this you know she ends up living her life and she never really attaches to anyone. Um, not really until she stumbles across a woman and her child who hitch a ride and of course they end up living with her and of course the woman kind of falls for her well him at the time and they never do get together if you know what I mean so it was really a presumption of the woman that stays with him that you know there will be something there could be something she just starts to like him His, you know he's really a mild-mannered quiet type of dude and he seems to make friends easily and he is really great at controlling the horses and you know driving the coach and all these things and it's just he's a different kind of person and then when you know what's going on in the background it kind of just I don't know it was just an interesting story I don't want to get into too many details of the plot but you know I found the story as a whole interesting so you know I really had no interest in reading this book none whatsoever this really isn't something that I would pick for myself this was a book club to read and I was happy that I read it it was a slow start it took me about 30% to really get into the story but after that it was really good and I enjoyed what I was reading although with that said I did find a few spelling and formatting errors and I don't know if that's just because it was small press or what but you know I, that always catches me by surprise when I see that in a published book I don't like it but it wasn't enough to make me turn my nose up at it or anything like that overall I enjoyed it so with that said what would I rate the whip by Karen Kandazian I would rate it four out of five bookmarks originally I was sitting around the three and a half you know area but you guys know I round up usually because I don't do halves 
So I gave it a four. And like I said, it was a really interesting read. It gave us lots to talk about in book club. It really was a good book club read. There are a lot of things going on in this book with pretty heavy subject matter. So if you are adverse to reading those type of things, this would not be a good book for you. But if you know you can read it and not be too affected by it, then um, this would probably, like I said, be good for discussion. So yeah, that's it you guys. Have you read The Whip? If so, let me know what you thought of it. And if not, you know, like I said, while I just wouldn't recommend this for, in general, for anyone, I would recommend it for those who have an adult book club. This is great for, for you guys. So if you're going to add this to your book club TBR, let me know. I'd like to hear what, you know, your group thinks about it after you're finished reading. So that's it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. And until then, happy reading. Bye, guys.